What up? What up, my brothers and sisters? Welcome to Aquarium Monsters. Your boy, E-Money in the building. It's been a minute. It's been a minute. But we gonna focus on this beautiful fish species today. The Black Knight Ram. This is a beautiful fish in the fish hobby. This fish right here is uh, not a very easy fish to find in your local uh, aquarium store. Either you have to order them or go online and find them from some breeders. Or you won't find top quality black rams. You'll find some that are still more in the blue ram range or more in the blue, you know, blue ram line. They're all more or less um, related to each other. A lot of them are used to make each other or different species of each other. But it's very hard to find true black, beautiful, dark night rams. As you can see, this is the male dark night ram that's coming into the video right now. And we'll get into sex in it in a minute. Right here. We have them in a little community tank with a few mollies. Oh, no, excuse me. With a few platies and guppies. No mollies. A few platies and guppies. Um, yeah, you know. If y'all know anything about me, y'all know I'm crazy. I put fish that shouldn't be with fish together. Or I try to bring different species together. I try to make different type of community tanks. I try to live my dream. Or not my dream, but I try to live out my vision of aquariums and species together. As long as you do things right with supervision and um, with a lot of experience and care, you'll be able to have uh, multiple species that wouldn't normally be recommended for you to put together, together, because you have experience and you know what to do and kind of how to introduce fishes and all that other stuff that we could get into. But right now, the focus on the black rams, the videos about the black rams. Like I was saying, um, it's very hard to find these guys, especially quality dark night black rams where they're just black, 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 high quality, um, beautiful finage. Um, like I said, you find them, you know, either bluish, dark, like a very dark bluish black color, but to find them, jet black, true black, dark night rams, you have to go to a, you know, reputable breeder. That's what I recommend. I have a pair in here, like I said, with a few platies and uh, guppies. Right now I have the camera set basically in their favorite you know, corner because I don't want to be all over the place with it. So I'm gonna try to uh, set it up in a position where you'll get better footage of them passing through as I speak on them. But yeah, that's the black uh, night male in the background right there. And the female should come into footage in a little bit. They like to, you know, stay close to each other. But this is a very beautiful fish. Uh, it was almost super rare at one point. Like I said, you're starting to see them pop up more and more they're very uh expensive they're costly fish they're not like a five dollar fish 
They're very expensive to get a true uh, pair or a male and female or just anything as far as them. You will have to um, pay a nice little price. Let's put it like that. You will have to, depending on who you get it from or how much high quality. Let's just say a high quality pair. You're looking to pay anywhere from $50 to $100 a piece. So, it's a costly uh, investment, like I said, to get a high quality uh, Black Knight Ram. This is the female that you just seen dart out in the background. And uh, how do you tell male or female? It's pretty simple when it comes to these guys. A lot of people try to break their heads. A lot of people uh, talk about the dorsal fins and all these things like that. It's very simple. In this species, the females have a nice bright speckling blue on the side of them you see like nice blue speckling on the side of the female the males are almost uh jet black their body should be jet black only on the like on the fins and stuff like that and like on the cheeks and on the tail, they should have a little bit of like blue on them. But the females will have the blue speckles on the side. Very, 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 uh, how can I say, distinctive. You'll see her, uh, especially when she's like excited, like almost sparkling the side of her, uh, her belly. The males are never sparkling on the side of the bellies the males are jet black like i said the female like you should see her coming into the footage soon she has see those those sparkling uh speckles on the side of her those you see those little speckles i kind of like try to brighten it up a little bit for you those little dots on the side of her uh on her side there that's a indication that that's a female you see this is the male right here he has no dots on the side of his fit on the side of his belly no blue dots at all i don't know if you guys could notice i know you guys can notice hopefully but that's how you really 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 could tell 100 percent so whenever you're picking out these guys or you're picking, out, picking them out or deciding to buy them, this is what you look for. You look for the blue speckles and dots on the side of the belly for the female and the male belly side jet black only on the face. He should have nice blue little sheens of blue. On the face and on the fins and stuff like that. But nothing on the side. Female. On the side. Male. Only on the fins and on the face. But these guys are beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. This is a pair that I have here in this little community tank. That I'm getting ready to set up for reading, hopefully. So I'm sharing them with you. Hopefully, uh. We get some progress soon, and I'll be able to share with you some breeding tips on what I did. But I'm just sharing with you guys, you know, this cool, cool, cool species of fish. Dark Knight Ram right here. Black Rams. These guys are amazing, beautiful fish, cool fish. And uh, like I said, stay tuned. So your boy Aquarium Monsters E Money is back in a building. Like, subscribe, share, tell me what you guys think. 
please, please like, subscribe, share, let your boy know what's going on. You know I always comment in the comments. Just make sure you leave respectful comments. Uh, you got any questions, holla at me. I'm, in, I'm out here in the New York area, so if you need help as far as finding the best fish spots, holla at your boy. You already know love is love always, not sometimes. Squad up. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share. Peace.